Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 10 of the EJ25 build for the 06 STI. In today's video, the engine and transmission meet yet again after being separated quite some time. It's a, it's a sad story. But not without issues. I actually forget something, as always. And I actually finish installing the Cylinder 4 cooling mod by Dominic get a damn cooling mod so stay tuned as always subscribe like comment and enjoy the video Okay, so you see how the engine tilts forward and the transmission kind of would not align with the engine. There's a little bit of difference. I mean, I can see it. It's almost the same, but to make my day easier, I'm gonna, I do have to raise then, jack up the transmission up a bit because it's resting on the um, uh, rack and pinion, I believe, right now. So let's do that. Okay, let me show you what's going on. See though that long bolt? It's almost where it needs to be. It needs to go into that hole there. Same thing on the other side, it's very close. The engine is tilted a bit to the right. See, that's why it's important to, once you hang it, to get it perfect. Perfectly leveled. So now I have a little issue. Gotta use some muscle to align it and push it in. There we go. So I took the engine out, well it was never in all the way. See I noticed, I knew about it, about these two pins, see there's one pin and there is another, these are, these are two guide pins. <clears throat> when I took my engine out, the original block, remember this one is from a WRX, uh, the engine took one pin and one state, so I was missing a pin on the transmission and this block, the WRX block, did not have any pins, and I just, I knew about it, but I forgot about it. I thought, you know, I'll do, I had to take, take the uh, one from my old block, and I'm thinking, you know, I'll do it uh, later, 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 I put it away, and I forgot about it. So, so I took it out, out of my old block, and I put it in here, so, and I put grease on it, as you can see. So next time, if I ever do have to take that out again, it's going to be much easier. They can give you a hard time to split the block from the transmission. I think the splines, that shaft that goes into the clutch plate, that's really tight. It's got to be just right for it to go in. So I'm going to push it in and turn the crank at the same time. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. I just yeah I gotta take it out look what I did I just noticed like a dumbass ah, this <laughs> I have to switch the engine mounts these bolts should angle out see what I mean this one's like that this one's like that so, so now I gotta remove the throttle bearing I hope I don't have to take the pressure plate off put it back in the um, back on the shaft and switch those engine mounts we'll be right back with your regular scheduling okay a little update see how they're angled now they were on its good side but I didn't know I didn't wasn't paying attention all I had to do was flip each one mission accomplished so not many bolts one not there here bolt bolt another nut down there and then uh, the two bolts that will hold up the uh, starter okay we're gonna pop in the throttle bearing that's it slave cylinder we'll do that later now time to drop the engine right there are the engine mounts all right. All right, now that the engine is in, the gap is gone. I uh, did tighten up most of the bolts. Now it's time to finish up this area here. I'm gonna install this boot. Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna need two, both hands for this. So that goes like that inside, obviously inside the transmission. Then then the, the starter, then this bolt with this bracket goes on top and the regular bolt, let's see. I'm gonna figure out which one is it the shorter one or the longer one probably the longer one it goes on the bottom then uh, reinstall the slave cylinder and then move on to the turbo
let's take care of the pitch mount here. This is a cart boy. This one, it's been in this car for 12 or 13 years, ever since it was uh, new, so probably back in 07. The original one actually broke. That's why I bought this one. As you can see, it's in perfect shape. Get a damn cylinder for cooling mod. Let me show you what I mean for, for those who don't know. Basically what you do is you remove this plug. Now I've done this in, I don't know, part three maybe. You remove, this is the driver's side cylinder head. And this is literally in the back of the engine facing the firewall. So you, you remove this plug. This is only for the 06, 07. STI. The only really difference between newer STIs is that you have to shorten up the hose, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So you remove that plug, install RTV on the fitting provided, uh, but that's pretty much all I did. I just installed it with the hose. So this is what I'm talking about, this guy here. Okay, that's the mud. And you can see the fitting right there. This uh, kind of copper yellowish looking one okay so that's the that's the plug in the back so this comes up what you need to do on the 06s and 07s you need to shorten up this hose a bit so it doesn't hit the the uh, the steering shaft here this part of the T goes here so the flow kind of you know looking at this T the flow will go this way, you know, it's kind of a smooth flow, it needs to remain a smooth flow and that hot coolant from cylinder 4 will go in here and continue going out this way. You need to connect this, this part into the return from the heater core, which is this guy here, which is the bottom hose and I removed this upper one to show you how you can tell. See this orange guy here? that's an arrow pointing out so this is the upper hose and you can see a green arrow kind of I re, you know this most of it was under the clamp but you can see this arrow pointing in so that's your feed and that's your return so the return goes into the black pipe here and this is your output the silver one is out black one is in what you do is you basically you cut this one here shorten up this pipe here and what's gonna happen is I mean you can do it however you want you know you, you can put this T whatever you want as long as it will reach but I'm gonna just cut it right here and this bottom part will go into the uh, the cylinder 4 cooling mod hose and obviously this goes back on the black pipe and this not cut at all you don't gotta do anything to this you don't even have to remove it I just removed it to show you those arrows the proper way to identify the uh, return and feed that will just the feed will just go on so that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to show you the result so this is what's going on basically this is how it should look I put these clamp the bolts of the clamps on the other side away from this hose here so they, they don't rub it's not really touching this one. As you can see, I did shorten up this uh, bottom hose here coming out of the head by maybe two inches. So it stays away from the, the steering shaft. That's basically it. That's how it should look. So the flow goes this way and from the bottom up that hot coolant will exit sooner and go 
back into the system, back to the water pump. So this is uh, this one goes to the water pump here. So that's pretty much it for the cylinder four cooling mod. Very easy. I know, obviously, I don't have the intercooler installed, so it it will make your life much easier if you remove the intercooler. Some guys do it from the bottom. It's it's much easier. It's not many. It's I don't know five bolts or so to remove the intercooler. So it's up to you. You can remove the inner cooler and make your life easier. It's not really difficult to remove the inner cooler or you can go through the bottom like some of the guys do. Let's fix this mess over here. Basically a few plugs, the uh, pressurized coolant tank, uh, some vacuum lines going to the turbo. And I'm most likely going to remove the, the boost solenoid and just clean it up because I had oil coming out of it um, you know, when the car broke, when the engine broke down. For this one like subscribe hit the bell button see you soon